Okay, so last week I did a video on is this the secret to Kundalini awakening? Um, is there any such thing as the secret? Uh, but really, uh, the teaching, like what I'm pointing to, was just allow and let it be. Like just allow and let it be. Stop fighting, stop struggling, stop whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I had a couple of questions come in. So I want to address the questions that came through. So this is from one of the uh, one of the people that put a comment on the video. Six times in mental ward. It's hard to allow and let it flow. It's turned my life and family's life into a nightmare. Mine was spontaneous in 2020. Never had a history of mental problems my whole life till Kundalini. It's not this easy. Okay, now I didn't say it was easy, right? I didn't say it was easy to just allow. Like, that's like, okay, so yeah, nah. It's not fucking easy. It's one of the hardest things you'll probably do is to learn how to allow, how to surrender. Um, and, you know, it's hard to, like, yeah, it's fucking hard. And <laughs> you want it to be easy and then you'll do it. It has to be easy. Otherwise, you're like, no, it's too hard. I can't do this. Right. And and this is this is how the mind objects. This is how the mind maintains control. This is how the mind is like, you know, pushes back. Basically, here's a pointing out instruction that may benefit you on the path if you actually want to liberate and awaken. It's too hard. Okay, fair enough. Too hard. Don't do it then. I don't care. <laughs> oh. It's been 24 years now since Kundalini awakened as such. And it's, you know, this person's like, it's been a nightmare. It's like, well, fuck. Yeah, right. Now, is it a nightmare because of what is happening? Or is it a nightmare because of how you're perceiving what is happening? And if it's a nightmare because of how you're perceiving what is happening, then maybe shift your perception and it wouldn't be a nightmare anymore. <sighs> that's the thing that's what the mind will push back on every single fucking time because the sense is like oh but if i what what no but i don't want that to happen it's fucking happening already you're in it and it is happening and that's what's going on so you might as well allow and surrender fully to what is already happening because it's already happening you see it's already happening let go <laughs> um There's so, you know, like, oh my God, after the the larger, bigger, whatever awakening in 2004, when my life imploded and all this shit, and, you know, I, I was in hell for three or four years. Now, was I in hell because Kundalini had happened? Was I in hell because of what was happening? Or was I in hell because of what I was thinking about what was happening? And it wasn't until years later that I realized, I was like, oh, fuck. The reason it was so hellish for me was my perception of what was happening, my beliefs of what was happening, my orientation to what was happening. And by, you know, reflecting and, and seeing that, I began to realize and I began to shift and, and like, I've done so much fucking hard work <laughs> over the last 24 years in terms of working with Kundalini Awakening, you know, two episodes in a psych ward, PTSD, this and that, righty ra, pat, like all the fucking things. But none of that's necessarily even directly related to Kundalini Awakening. That's just life. That's just being human. That's just the way that trauma fucking shows up in the body. Like that's just what it means to be fucking alive. As shit happens, you fucking deal with it. <laughs> and what I've discovered, what I am discovering, what is, you know, unfolding now is that there is more and more ease. Ease is not easy, but there is just more and more ease in relationship to whatever circumstances are showing up. That's what I'm noticing. Um, you know, if Kundalini shit is going on for you, just notice the part of you that wants to fix, heal, change, control, manage, manipulate, 
notice that part because that that is the part that needs to die and of course that is the part that will defend and hold on and just like do whatever to not die you know so yeah i can totally feel you know six times in the mental ward it's hard to allow and let it flow yeah it is it is it is hard to allow and let it flow you know it's really hard to recognize that the life experience that is unfolding is not what you would have chosen it's not was what was in the life plan it's not what you imagined right and it's happening and that's hard there's grief there's rage <laughs> there's all kinds of things that might come up in relationship to that and the allowing is is meeting directly how it makes you feel how does it make you feel what beliefs show up what does the mind say you know it's turned my life and my family's life into a nightmare Just acknowledging that that's what it feels like for you, right? That's what it feels like for you. It feels like it's a nightmare. Yeah. Never had a history of mental problems in my whole life until Kundalini. It's not that easy. No, it's not easy. It's not fucking easy. <laughs> it's so not easy. My sense is that this is a warrior path, you know, this is fucking showing up day after day. This is like determination and grit, you know, like that's a crazy thing in so many ways. Like, oh yeah, surrender, allow. And to get to that point, the amount of grit, determination, like strength, power that it's taken, right? In the surrendering and the allowing, we have to show up moment to moment what's needed. We need to show up to the psychological healing that is being required, right? We need to show up to the karmic patterns that are being revealed. We have to show up to our attachments. We have to show up to our aversion. We have to show up to all of these things that are arising. That is what it means to allow. It means that you start showing up. And accepting what it is even when you don't want it. it wasn't in the plan not my thing i hate it i hate it i fucking hate it i want it to go it doesn't matter it's here right now it's here right now it's here it's been worth showing up You know, there is a part of me that feels like I've fucking done the hard yards and now, you know, the level of ease, etc. And I also know that doesn't mean that who knows what's around the corner for me, who knows what will happen, what will unfold that I might not want, you know, that might test the fuck out of what it is I'm saying here. I do not know. I do not know. Um, all I know is... In this moment, in this moment, we are, you know, in this moment we are. And when your life is a nightmare, what would happen if you could touch the beauty and the bliss? the inherent okayness of life, even in the middle of the nightmare. What would happen?
And if you can feel a part of you that doesn't want to touch the beauty and the bliss in the middle of the nightmare, be really curious about that. What is that? What does that feel like? Be curious. Oh, so one other comment that was on the video that I also just want to address really briefly. This person said, uh, thank you so much. I guess I'm not the only crazy person. No, we all have crazy, right? It's about being human. Uh, watching your video call some kind of energy in my body. I have a big urge to scream very loud and let the energy out. So I just want to address <sighs> lion's breath. When I feel energy moving, when there's shit coming out, like when all the, if, when I feel, <sighs> just allow Right, there's the allowing lion's breath right from the pit of the belly. And it's almost like a silent scream. And I just do that until I stop doing that. Maybe have a play with that and see what happens. Alrighty, blessings on the goddess, blessings on the unfolding, blessings on each one of you. May all beings be free. May all beings know peace, no matter what their circumstances.